I'm Chorpsaway. I'm Jordan. I'm Jay. And I'm Katamari Damasi. And welcome back to Katamari Damasi. This is the uh, title screen after you've started a new game, with a little remix of the opening theme. This sounds way more solemn than the actual game. This makes it seem like <laughs> yeah. this is some kind of weird, sad indie game. <laughs> <laughs> the prince is going to cry soon. <laughs> Well, to make sure we show off how uh, how solemn we are, we're going to wear a scarf today. Oh. Uh, and we're going to look up at the stars. We might as well just call the prince a sad boy. So, uh, here we can see all the constellations uh, that we can make. Uh, AKA chirps. the vault and our stars. Yeah, um, you recorded your cursor. No, that's in there. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, my PS2 cursor. <laughs> You're right, I left my mouse on the screen. Hey man, there's no better way to play Quake 2. Wait, is that star know. is that star called a registered hypercam too? <laughs> yeah, so you can see all the stars you've made, and it gives you all the notifications about them, and you can also go to the other planets. Oh, what if this... all the like names and text that popped up was just like in a text box, like win in a Windows text processor, <laughs> and it told you how to fight, how to <laughs> pirate Photoshop CS2? <laughs> <laughs> so anyways, we have one new cousin this time that's shown up. It's Havana. What? Havana oh. has a very long head. Yeah. Oh. There we go. Please don't bring up her long head to her. <laughs> very sensitive about it. Well known for playing Earthshaker in the Dota 2 International 2015. And so, uh, our first uh, mission today, we're gonna do wow. a special one. <laughs> <laughs> this really is the vault in our stars. <laughs> the, this is the alternate evil path. <laughs> oh, that's so right. It's not quite right here. Everyone's too healthy. <laughs> we have to bring death and disease to this world, little kids. No, it doesn't look delicious. Does Gutting's tumors look delicious? I can't believe the stars caused cancer. So instead of just making a star here, we're gonna make a constellation. Whoa. The unfortunately named Cancer. <laughs> and, uh, looks like the king here is having a craving for some crab. I think that's because the Cancer <laughs> constellation is a crab, right? Yeah. Right. Yeah. yeah. So one thing I like about this mission is that if you sit uh, here long enough, just waiting for the uh, dialogue to end, eventually crabs will walk into your katamari, and you just get three or four free items. <laughs> nice. I did not do well. that this time, but it is an option in case you just want to wait for like twenty minutes. Because <laughs> see, there was one that goes real close. These That's are right, hot King. new leaderboard strats. Mm -hmm. That's right, King. We will make the yummiest cancer available. <laughs> but so this mission, different than the others, we don't have to reach a certain size. We have to collect as many crabs as possible. And so there are lots of crabs and crab-like items uh, lying around this map. This is how we're going to find out what the recipe to the Krabby Patty is. Is it yep. just a big ball with crabs on it? <laughs> it's oh, actually no, just a spider. also a spider. <laughs> what, is, what is that crab doing in the spider web? <laughs> What a goof. These little crab yells are horrifying. <laughs> Same with the spider one. <laughs> oh, fuck. You gonna be okay? Maybe, I don't know. <laughs> just, just pretend it's a crab. <laughs> yeah, they look enough like crabs. Just imagine these horrifying crab screams. So actually, fun fact, this is the second recording of the day I've had where there was just a fucking spider around. <laughs> Sorry, friend. <laughs> Anyways, here are some decidedly non-crab things we need to get the bigger crabs. Here's an actual fun fact, one of my over seven crab facts. <laughs> um, in Dutch, the, like, astrological sign cancer is actually called lobster. <laughs> it's bear crab. That's oh my god, up. those crabs are having a fight! <laughs> oh no. They were having a gunfight. Don't worry, we broke them up. We did. We even took one of the guns away so that no violence could happen. I bet now they're all really crabby. <laughs> well, I mean, at least I know the prince is never going to be able to run for the GOP then. <laughs> <laughs> Meanwhile, this crab's carrying around a TV. 
That was a little political humor here for the politics fans in the chat. <laughs> I guess these crabs really put the sand in Bernie Sanders. <laughs> <laughs> Hillary Clotson. Oh no. <laughs> <Ruined it. laughs> it's okay. So. Sometimes the king just has something to say about other items you pick up. Like how shrimp is also good, but not a crab. No. I mean, it has like the like the really tiny crab legs, right? Yeah. Yeah. I don't know if I pick it up in this recording of the level, but uh, if you pick up, there's like a there's one of those monkeys that does the clanging the cymbals together. Mm -hmm. uh, if mm -hmm. you pick that up, he points out that that is not in fact a crab. <laughs> <laughs> just in case you weren't sure. Because you see, it only has Dang one it. pincer. Yeah. Here's a big line of crabs that ends in a t-shirt. <laughs> but that's an anvil t-shirt. You know what? Crabs are indeed just the monkeys in the underwater world. They just steal shit all the time. Yeah, you have sea cows and you have sea monkeys and it's just... It's just Wait, but sea monkeys are a thing that aren't crabs. Wait. They're their own thing. Oh, you're right. Yeah. Also, we need that horseshoe crab. <laughs> I'm glad we can make our dad proud. Yeah. My dad's only happy when I'm picking up crabs. <laughs> but these standards are really lowering. Like, first he said we could only have crabs, and then it's like, okay, crabs and things that are sort of like crabs, like spiders. Right. And then it got, like, widened a little bit to general sea creatures, like sh shrimp, and now it's anything that, sc that like, scatters. <laughs> yep. Or scrambles. Well, he wants a lot of crabs, but that doesn't mean he can't have more things. He's just gonna put this in the jambalaya. He's just gonna make a big soup out of all this. So he's a space hoarder. Right. Do you think Death will be happy when we get to crabs? <laughs> well, it depends. You're just like your father. Cancer and crabs? What an unfortunate day. <laughs> Look at that crab riding a dog. That's great. <laughs> yep. Are we gonna roll up that dog? We will. Good. Dogs are in many ways like crabs. They have more than two legs. Alright. Uh, you can keep them as pets. Mm -hmm. Some people eat them. crabs as pets? Yeah. Why not? What I kind mean, of boring yeah, person are you? <laughs> wow, are you gonna judge me? For my crab yeah. pet of <laughs> ideas? Yeah, you could have like a cat or a dog or something. Not some motherfucker which Crabs just are more you. interesting than dogs. <laughs> wow! Well, I don't know what that's the true. fuck. <laughs> just by virtue okay. of being less common as pets. Okay, I'm sorry. I'm done with this LP. I'm fucking done with this LP. Does oh, so crab now... know its own name? So right here at the end, we're gonna use these to uh, jump up to the top part. Because as they go down, you can use them to uh, bounce you up. Whoa. Like that. Oh. Whoa. But there yep. we go. And there are some extra crabs there. They're all checking out that uh, that kabuki picture. And uh, right at the end, before we do anything else, gotta make sure to give that dog. Yeah. I like how it's, it's even called labeled doggy. doggy. Yeah. Well, because there are other things that are called dogs. That one's a doggy. Aw, oh, man. Just short of a hundred. Yeah. You have a scarf. The dog had a sweater. It's all like, and we're all ready for this sad October Yeah, you October know what's disturbing weather. about this? We're gonna put fucking pots into our into our food. We're gonna put spiders into our food. That's what you wanted. You're and gonna put mask? gang violence into your food. <laughs> that all of the worst. We've got pot rolled up. <laughs> <laughs> I like that there's a crab there also being judged. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, that's too many crabs, Prince. I don't like this. <laughs> Crab. <laughs> I'm glad we can make him happy. Do we get to play as the crab next? Uh, I wish. How's the crab gonna roll a ball? <laughs> Maybe the crab will be become one of our cousins. <laughs> Gross. Yeah.
There go the crabs. There it is. That doesn't even look like a crab. The lights shine up more depending on how well you did. Oh, I feel it. I feel the cosmos. Cancer came scuttling back. So yummy. And so, welcome back to the home planet after that little cutscene. Here we are. Now, we didn't get a new present, so we're not going to put on anything new this time. Instead, we're just going to go right into making a new star. If it's going to stay cold, you got to keep wearing a sweater. Or a scarf. <laughs> I think Make a Star 3 was the best of the Make a Star trilogy. <laughs> uh, I personally was a big fan of the uh, Trollback series Make a Star. <laughs> My star. Is make a star just make a wish, but your only option is like meeting people like John Cena? <laughs> the Make a Star <laughs> Foundation. No, you get to create John Cena. <laughs> oh, cool. I do think, like, ultimately, I prefer the uh, spin off Star Rescue, though. <laughs> So the king has another present for us that he's, uh, <laughs> thrown to Earth. <laughs> this time wasn't even- oh, I missed it playing catch, it's like, I just threw it. It could be anywhere. <laughs> Hopefully it's where you're ending up. We don't know, though. Must be around somewhere. You know, that's also true for literally everything. <laughs> ever. <laughs> so wait. If the king sends things to Earth, why doesn't he just send things to space to be stars? Well, that's not part of his powers. Oh, okay. He's the king of all cosmos, not the king of all Earth. <laughs> right. All Earths. A sweet 50 centimeters. That's kind of a tiny star. Well, they can't all be big. Yeah, so it's somewhere. Well, they're just really <laughs> close. <laughs> right, it's all about perspective. So wait, after eight minutes, our dad just becomes, like, disappointed in us? Well, if we don't make it, yeah. It's messed up. Also, why is there a plug coming out of the ground? Oh, I, sometimes you just gotta power things. Have you never I, been to a junkyard? I guess at the very least we can be, know for sure that that plug is properly grounded. Yeah, <laughs> good. Like the prince is gonna be if he doesn't finish the star quickly. What? <laughs> I got him. Nice. Anyways, we're gonna start just by collecting as much stuff here, because there's a lot of stuff that'll help build us up here. Those dung beetles are also collecting stuff. Look at him go. Yeah. <laughs> They're rolling up their own little star. <laughs> oh, we got a butterfly right out of the air. Now I'm gonna try to get that dung beetle right. Oh, I, I can only knock him out. That dumb beetle got wrecked. <laughs> what? Uh, we can't pick it up because it's too big. If you hit a living thing, yeah, if you hit a, th a living thing that's too big, you knock it over, and it'll like, uh, it'll like go prone, and then you can pick it up. Yeah. But right. I just didn't. <laughs> so I could. And, and then it just disappeared, or what? No, then it it got back up. It gets oh, back okay. up and then starts going on its path again. That was we. I, I don't think I've ever seen that message. Oh, okay. Oh no, we picked up a firecracker. This is gonna oh, be awful. Oh no. Oh no, what are you doing, Chirp? Oh, but we're also picking up Shuriken. <laughs> is, that a, is that a teaser for the next LP, Chirps? <laughs> nah. Yeah. There we go, got a dung beetle and it's dung. Nice. I don't think you can pick up them separate. And then you rolled the dung beetle and food, good. <laughs> well, look. That's that's its life. It all ends up the same. <laughs> and there's a rat. And there's just so many things, like all these dog bolts with milk <laughs> in them. That dog's looking real sad because you're taking all of its milk. <laughs> in cartons? Do you think? Oh no! Look at that poor rat. <laughs> yep. I love how things, like, their legs will move whenever they're stuck inside the Katamari, like, they're just trying to run away. Yep. Or maybe they're just having a really good time. Yeah. 
With all this stuff just laying around on the ground, I'm pretty sure everyone, like, in the city is just a hoarder. I hate that I can't pick up those briefs right now, not gonna lie. I just want underpants. I can relate to that. I mean, same, but you don't see me complaining. Oh, you did the, the speedy roll. Yeah, I've been doing the speedy roll a little bit to get around, especially in these uh, groups of nothing. I can't get around this bucket, it's awful. Navigating when small is very difficult. And often is uh, to my detriment in playing good. You can't pass the bucket, so you just say, forget it. Yep, that's, that's what you right. say. You just say, heck it. You just say, bucket again. <laughs> God, this bucket! <laughs> That's what you say. Right. So done with this bucket. Oh, we can pick up some of the butterflies off of those. <laughs> this one worked really hard. I'm really sad we can't pick up that fish yet. It's like, drown. It's dying. God, we get it! You're sad all the time, <laughs> chorps! <laughs> uh, later, we're gonna pick up those drawings. Yeah. If there's any game that makes me sad and contemplative, it's Katamari Damacy. It really is. Think about the futility of life as you climb yeah. up these stairs in the worst way possible. <laughs> well, I mean, those shoes are kind of helping you. Yeah. Sort of. Oh, ugh, not so much. I don't. There we these go. These seem like the kind of shoes I'd rather not walk up the stairs with because they might slip off and then you're in a right. lot of trouble. Or you get a splinter. Uh. Oh, we got a gong, though. Well, I was I was more thinking you fall down and break something, but... Oh, that's also not good. Also bad. Let's be fair. Meanwhile, we can pick up whatever a pet bottle is. P.E.T. bottle, um... Personal... Ooh. Erotic Pea tension. extraction. <laughs> uh -huh. uh it's... It's Toilet. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> it's very, Good. it's very Art Nouveau shaped. Good. I'm glad we can finally pick up the underpants now. That's all I've been waiting for. After a brief detour. <laughs> Got him. I'm as big as this kid playing with an RC car. <laughs> That's a tiny kid. And just as big into RC cars. Look, Free Cola Boy. Like That's what it stands for. <laughs> yep, the RC Cola. Prince, I don't want you playing around with this guy anymore. <laughs> <laughs> He's too in love with his RC car. And RC Cola, it's not even that good! I want you to Look. take both his car, his cola, and him. I'll have you know that this is a Pepsi household, young man. <laughs> Look, there's no if he ever comes over to my house, he's gonna have to drink Tab and like it. <laughs> Look how big the dung on that dung beetle is. You Damn. know what? Actually, the kid, like, the king seems like such a fucker, he would probably only, like, allow club soda in his house. Mm -hmm. uh... Oh, so we knocked, uh, we knocked into the tree and this present popped out, but we need to be much bigger to get it. Oh, so man. it's time to go around and pick some extra stuff up before the uh, three minutes we have left are gone. Thanks, Dad. And then it's gonna turn out it's not even a good present, it's just really big orthopedic shoes. <laughs> it's Tab Cola. <laughs> <laughs> it's socks that don't even fit right. <laughs> the king opens it and sees the Coke logo and throws it away. There was nothing in there. <laughs> Now I have to try to go off this gir this giraffe uh, slide, but it's not so good. You found the last <laughs> remaining bottle of Sprite Remix. <laughs> of new Coke. One time I looked up if the Sprite Remix was still a thing, and I found a web- uh, or a Facebook page that was just dedicated to, like, one guy saying, Bring back Sprite Remix, and, like, for every <laughs> holiday, he would be like, Hey, have a happy Labor Day! Would be way better if I could enjoy this day with a nice cold Sprite Remix. <laughs> Actually, I nowadays mean, it's called Sprite Mixtape. I, I mean, same, but for Crystal Pepsi. <laughs> I mean, I'm enjoying this LP, but what if I could enjoy it with a nice, cool, refreshing glass of pe Crystal Pepsi? See, I just want the I just want the white Pepsi from Japan that tastes like yogurt. Also, did you see that pizza in the wheel? That's a good pizza. Oh, That's a, that good is pizza. a good pizza. I think Coke the other made, day like, I was a listening to music. Uh huh. Oh, sorry. Oh no, carry on. 
Oh, well, Coke made, like, that crystal variety for Russia during World War II because, like, a Russian general really liked it and they called it Coca-Cola White. Oh. Just, huh. I mean, like, Coca-Cola is already red, so it's owned by the communists. <laughs> right. <laughs> is it red? Don't tell Red Scarebot. Well, I mean, like, the the can is. Oh, uh, right. Yeah. Red like Santa Claus. Got a minute left. Let's see what we can clear out. Oh, can we get the dog? Yeah. Hell yeah. Oh, wow. <laughs> Thank, <it>. Thanks, King. <laughs> You're real insightful. Another animal sacrificed to our dark dad gods. <laughs> okay, we just have to keep talking for less than a minute. We can do this, guys. Uh... <laughs> I, uh, the other day I was listening to music on Spotify and I got an ad for Sprite that was just like people opening Sprite and like drinking Sprite like it's a porn movie for Sprite people right, like, really like sexy, ASMR. really sexily drinking Sprite right and then the uh, like the narrator was like hey while you're watching this ad don't get thirsty don't do it don't get thirsty don't do it yeah it happened didn't it yeah, it did. And hell yeah, Dang. I did. I wanted some Pepsi after that. But, all we had, <laughs> but not a Sprite. We didn't have any Pepsi in the house, but we did have um, bottles of carbonated water and uh, pure lemon juice, so I made some poverty Pepsi. Or not Pepsi, <laughs> sorry, Sprite. Yeah, I thank got... you. <laughs> poverty Pepsi is a good name, though. That's like my ska band name. Poverty <laughs> Sprite, a.k.a. 7-Up. One yeah. day, I drank, I drank Sprite. I thought it was Sprite, but it was actually my own tears watching this LP. <laughs> <laughs> Poverty Sprite is what I'm calling my uh, bad pixel art game. <laughs> Excuse Good. me, that's gonna get taken down now. Whoa. I can't believe Pixels has destroyed all pixels. <laughs> oh, they... He's so proud of our Katamari. Thank you for getting me this dog. And to think before we couldn't even pick up underpants. <laughs> <gasps> we got a present! Look, it's a chef's hat. Whoa, oh, that's a good present. Yeah, right? It even matches with our scarf. Yeah. Unfortunately, we can only wear one at a time. What oh, the man. Fuck? I like how he says, guess what it is, I mean, like, after we open the present. <laughs> yeah, you got a present, guess what it is? Oh, wait, I already opened it for you. And look, we got lots of cooking things, so it's even more appropriate. Whoa. Actually, you still have to open the chef's hat, because the real present's in there. <laughs> it's the a real present was, was inside you the whole time. <laughs> the real present is your future. I'm paying for your college, son. <laughs> so we got a Bistro Star. Bistro Star is a good name. <laughs> Food Network's next Bistro Star. Mom, they said on TV that all the stars disappeared. <laughs> Oh, honey, things like that just don't happen. There's our cab now. But that's what they said, right? Don't believe everything you hear on TV, only what you hear on Fox News. <laughs> <laughs> All right, and that was episode two. See you guys next time. Bye. See you, space mini-man. <laughs> I refuse to say goodbye. <laughs>